I want to put a little common sense thing in here, interjection. In 1979, everybody talks about the blow-off top that Silver had, and they expect it's going to stay high forever. I don't think so, but <clears throat> I expect Silver to perform very well. But uh, I just took this right off of Kiko. I found better numbers in this. This is monthly averages. You know, Platinum was around $150 an ounce. And inside of a year, it actually spiked up over $1,000. And, you know, you're looking at seven times, basically. Seven times, just like Silver did, six, seven times inside of a year. Platinum did the same thing. Go over to Palladium, same thing. Actually, Palladium went up to about 350 an ounce. These are monthly averages, but it actually spiked briefly up to 350 an ounce. And it was down about $50 an ounce. So it went up seven times. It's not going to be that silver goes up by itself and other metals don't. It's not. And, uh, you know, that's kind of one point I was making was... Uh, <clears throat> There's kind of a silver pump and dump physical game going on where they are pushing this metal like it's the only savior to anything financial out there. And I don't like what a lot of these people are doing. Um, I also want to point out about you know palladium's future use again. It's going to be for hydrogen production. It's going to come on very strong. The fundamentals for palladium are extremely strong. You're talking about a metal that's 95% industrial usage. Now, far more so than silver, as far as industrial use as a percentage, and far less mined, far more rare. So, platinum, same thing. And, you know, you can start pulling out all kinds of statistics and start saying, oh, well, there's a lot of platinum in the earth, and you know what? It's a hell of a lot more difficult to get it out of the earth versus silver. In a practical realm, platinum and palladium are much, much tougher to get out of the earth than silver. And they're not found in as many areas. But just pointing out again what happened in 1979, they both these metals, platinum and palladium, went up about seven times inside of a year. So, that's something that is left out is left out of what people are just starting to discover about silver I could say this yes you know that uh, platinum and palladium really haven't been used as money but as far as desirability for jewelry platinum is probably the most desirable jewelry metal going better than gold definitely better than gold and you have a large percent of it of it, even a bigger percentage of it being used up in an industry every year. It's, I think it's over 60%, whereas in the case of palladium, it's about 95%, and in the case of silver, as far as strict industrial usage, it's about 46%. But the uh, rarity of platinum and palladium is far higher. So, I don't know why people are getting too focused in on one metal. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when people are being told to invest in one area. I hate that. Because I really don't. Something doesn't sit right with that whole thing. These people that are telling everybody, buy silver, only buy silver, you know, they're playing a game. They are playing a game on people. So, just want to point out there's two other metals out there that did just as well as silver in 1979. They had that blow off top same type of deal so just keep an open mind on things and actually getting too much all in the metals is not good either but um, the facts state for itself now this is a monthly chart platinum and palladium actually went up a little higher than this but still you know you could see the kind of gains they had the same type of deal as with silver actually I think palladium is gonna outperform silver at one point in time by far this is the metal that's gonna <laughs> This is the one that's probably going to make people wealthy. And this is the one metal that we can actually move the price on. Um, I don't know. I don't like the game that's being played on the middle class here. I see something else coming up. That's all i got to say. I don't know. Just uh, be careful about your silver investments. 
I am. I'm being very careful about this garbage. I'm not trusting something. So, got to be honest. That's all I got to say.